Hello and welcome back to the channel. And today's video is about Fernando Torres' La Liga debut and rejecting Real Madrid in three occasions. I think you can evolve, but you have to keep your essence. If we don't, we'll reach a point where the fans will be supporting a team that doesn't represent them. Where you want to go is not as important as where you're from. What you want to achieve must be through what has brought you here, and that's roots. The actual club in Japan wanted me and was offering me to join them. And one of the reason I wanted to leave Europe is to enjoying being with my family in peace and privacy and also to show my children a culture which is different, crucial and will be very important later. But on footballing level, I soon realized that I wasn't going to be there for too long because here they see football as entertainment, not as a competition. It will take years for them to understand that in football, the top are the ones who compete. It's that simple. Now let's get back to my story. After the season we weren't promoted, they hired Luis Aragones, and I saw what he was. Top class, still in the second division. It was a years of suffering for me and a real test. You want to play football with the best. This is football. The Atletico we want won't wait for you. You're with us or you're not. Luis made him work really hard individually. And that the formula here progression. El Nino got nothing for free. He earned it all through efforts. Maybe Aragoni's personality would have choked him because he was demanding, obviously. I think he held me in high regard. For some reason he tried to prepare me for what was coming. Luis's phrases from day to day. Get angry with yourself if you don't play. You know nothing about anything. You soon will get what I mean. Don't read the paper. Don't pay attention to what they say. They don't know anything. They're creating a pedestal. So when you're on top of the world, they smack you down. And you failing from so high will hurt. And you want to get back up? Pay attention to me, the coach said in an interview. Football is no past or future. It is present and it's win, win and win and win and win again. Want this to go half an hour or that it? I think he was one of the first coaches that prepared me to face the media with time. I understand what he said. He's a coach. You have to admire what he was. I really enjoyed training with him and that year was one of a lot of discipline and respect. I learned. Do you aim to stay at Atletico Madrid in the first division? Yes, that the aim of this season. Win promotion and play in the first division next season. In life everything is complicated, but you can achieve almost everything. Atletico Madrid play for promotion after two season in the second division. It's taken 80 games and 24 hours to be able to say that the red and white are returning to the first division. Promotion was the thing that let us forget everything before. I think that when I felt like a fan again, with goals to achieve and a lot of risks to take on, but with real excitement, it was turning into responsibility again. Match day in La Liga, and it's Barcelona against Atletico Madrid. Making my La Liga debut in a camp now against Barcelona made me see the difficulty and the beauty of playing against the best players in one of the best stadium. It was something else. There is a two years period of time from 17 to 19, I went from being just one of the first team player to being the leader and I no longer had looks from others, as if I was a kid. But, you have to pull the team along. In that period of years, offers started coming in, and you don't think about it. 
We got lots of calls to sign Fernando Torres from Tottenham, Milan, Inter, Manchester United, and many more. And he always stayed firm. He didn't want to hear the offers, the biggest brand, that Fernando Torres and his team rejected is Real Madrid, who tries to sign him on three occasions. I've never spoken to Real Madrid, ever. It's a question of principle. I think it would be a betrayal of a way of seeing things and understanding football. Thanks for watching, we'll be back with another video soon.